Alright. We are live. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this celebratory Q&A. Um, so, if you don't know what's going on here, let me catch you up to speed. Yesterday, the uh, first issue of Royal Wars has been finished. And it's and has been um, released. So, so what I'm going to do, if I can, if I can, there we go. So what I'm going to do um, is to uh, do a celebratory Q and A. You know the drill. You guys um, ask a few questions, and once that happens. Um, you know, um, you guys get to answer all that jazz. <clears throat> um, so here's the rules this is regarding, um, the comic. The Warrior Woods comic. So, let's get rid of that. Um, actually, I might need it. Um, so, let's get out of here so I can pull this up. Hey, Bog. And, well, um, I wait for like questions so i'm going to like start drawing um i don't know what i'm going to draw but i think it's going to be um something regarding within uh where woods where is that pen i am so misorganized hmm. where is that darn pen Ah, here it is. So, how are you guys? <sighs> so, uh, hey, so. You guys ask, you guys know the drill, ask, um, what, um, ask a few, if you ask a few questions, I will ask, I will ask, um, I will answer them. Um, what's up? Nothing much. Just, uh, celebrating Roy the, still celebrating the release of the Roy Woods Adventures, which, um, I just finished. Yesterday, and I can, and I can. Where is my mouse? There we go. And I can uh, paste it. That kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, shoot. You know what? No, not that. Uh, get link, ba -ba -ba -ba. copy, um, oh, cool, yeah, I think it might be wise to, uh, draw Lucas, I don't know what, what um, he's gonna do, but, um, might be something. Okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. What does. I'm thinking, so. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, hmm. Oh, I know. He's going to be watching the little show I made. 
Well, not made, but just you guys can see. Like, I hope so. Um. So I'm gonna draw Lucas. I'm draw him watching TV. Something like that. And if you're drawing, um. If you're drawing Lucas, you can follow along. Something like that. Uh, maybe he can be enjoying it. Maybe so. So Q and A means a question question and answer kind of like if i'm not like give me some questions i'm like i can't do a q a if i don't have any questions and i know i'm impatient stuff like that but still kind of defeats the whole purpose So what I'm doing here, sort of like a rough sketch of Lucas. It's not. It's not perfect. How? How was that first? Uh, making the comic and how it is now. Uh. Can you be a little specific? Like, hey, it's Drift. Hey, Drift. Yes, he's 12 years old. I originally um, wanted him to be 11, but um, Xavier, aka VHS Loud 1216, suggested I made Lucas 12 years old. Because it sort of fits. Now that uh, Lincoln's 12, why not Lucas is 12? I forgot the name of the sisters. One, one, Roy Woods Adventures. Uh, what's the name? Well, Cat, hold on. Um, the girl in the, um, with, hold on. It's, it's best I show you. Uh, place, uh, ba -ba -ba. I hope you guys can see my, uh, and yes, I do commissions. I mean, um, this here is Kathy. Uh, Lucas is the youngest last sibling and the only brother in the loose household, right? Yes. This is Kathy. This. This is Emma. And yes, uh, she has a shooting star. I reference um, I reference that as of like a uh, Mabel from Gravity Falls, since I love the show. Um, and this is Jenna, who is undoubtedly my favorite, my favorite sibling. I mean, she's shy. She's, she's a little, um, out of considerate or something like that. She's sh something. So this is Kathy. This is how old is, uh, Lucas's sisters? Um, Kathy, she's like 16, 17. Uh, Jenna, she's like 15 um, ish. 15, 14. And Jenna is 13. And Lucas, like I said, is 12. Hey, it's Adam. Hey, Adam. And to answer Bob's question, um, uh, I think it's. I think you say, how was 
me making the comic at first or something like that how how that like how was uh for making the comic was at first then how it is now um hmm making the comic at first i um i thought i could do it all to be honest um so so i so I um, drew the first three pages on my own. I inked them, I colored them, and I um, did it all. However, I hated it. I hated the fact that I did did them all on my own, and I was like, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. So, um, until Alec, who is the co-writer of the of the comic, or my head writer, he said, well, why don't you just, um, why don't you start, um, grabbing, um, finding artists? And, and I was like, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. So, what I'm doing here is making a pose that, and Lucas looks like that he's Having a good time, he's chilling. And I'll put that later. Um Yes, I'm using uh Photoshop. And also, um when drawing the Lewis siblings, um I am very very protective of them. Like, I don't want them to do any... I'm... Like, I do not... Like to do... Anything... Regarding that's not safe for work. Um... Because... That's not the sim... That's not... That's, um... Like... Violence, void, incest... Y you name it... I ain't doing it. Because... That's not the that's not the Louis siblings. That's not them. And and if I and if I um find any um artwork regarding in that category, I'm coming. Like I'm I'm coming for you. I'm coming uh to say, hey, take it down, please, or because because this is my this is these characters are like my creation. They're, they're like my kids, so I don't want anything bad happening regarding within the show. I mean the, the comic series. I mean, sure, this might get a, a, a following, but it might um, gain the attention of like some people that would do nasty things regarding the siblings. So what I'm doing here is building the pose. I'm just building from scratch, all that jazz, like, what, what ideas you got for the comics soon, um, my, well, my idea, um, I got two, one is in the, one is ready, um, to be, um, one is already written down and ready to be, um, written fully as a cop, drawn fully as a comic. One is a, um, one is a, uh, story of Lynn Jr. and Lincoln regarding in a relationship. Not in, like, a relationship, but the, how it, um, like, like, um, it's sort of like a sequel to No Such Luck. But, um, the, Ending is good, I, and of course it fixes everything that's wrong with the the entire show in general. Uh, we're going with Lynn Jr. Um, Lucas was wearing long pants and he's wearing shorts. You know that. Um, I do. That was sort of like of a design fluke. Like I, um. I, um, 
Like, I wanted the, um, like, I thought, like, long pants, that's, that's kind of cool, but I don't know about it. And one day, while I was redesigning Lucas, um, into what you see today, um, I drew in shorts. And I didn't think about it until I realized, oh, shoot, he's not wearing, he's not wearing long pants. But I was like, nah, that's fine. Actually, hmm, I'll change it, I'll change it. Uh, and to answer Adams' question, um, where did the idea to create the Lewis family come from? Uh, what was the concept, and was there any inspiration? If so, what are they? Well, um, the idea of the Lewis siblings, um, came when I decided to inspire them around me and Xavier. Uh, with Lucas, I wanted to inspire, um, what I did, um, when I was 11 years old. I was a little timid and a little, and a little self-centered, but, um, I still had a good heart. Um, Kathy, I love the 80s. Um, I love the, everything that's old. And I, and I look at, hey, Jimmy, and I look at the, um, I look at everything nowadays, um, that's modern, and I look at it as, like, no, I, I hate that. Um, Jenna, I, um, I inspired that around when, um, I inspired it with, uh, Xavier being a little shy. Um, and, like, a little, um, uneasy and stuff like that. And, and, and just really in her bubble. And, um, for Emma, I inspired her out of my favorite of like my love for movies in general i like movies i like anime tv shows and i like cartoons which is why i got the idea of creating a cartoon based channel uh when this when this series first began what was it like also i saw everything 12 out of 10 ah um yes um I wouldn't say he, he is inspired by... I wouldn't say he's inspired by me completely. Um, I don't know if he has autism or something. I mean... I don't know. Um, uh, will you ever see... Do an Ace Savvy story with the Lewis family? I might. Um... <clears throat> And to uh, continue answering the question, what ideas I got for the comic, the second one is um, sort of like a talent show story. Like Lucas is um, like Lucas is being teased by his sibling, by his sister, saying, "Oh, he doesn't have any talent or anything." Like, uh, like it's personal, like sort of as like fun tease and. And Lucas kind of takes it a little serious, and is like, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, prove you guys I have talent. Um, so he enters it a talent show, and of course I like to dance. So, so he, so he tries dancing, but and all, but uh, I don't know. The ending, you'll love it because I'm not gonna give it away. Um. Uh, what else? Um, what was it like? Um, what was it like? Um, Bluey is a nice show. I mean, I have the, I have the, um, toy. I have the talking toy. I mean, it's cute, but it can get a little repetitive. It could, if you could fan cast these characters, who would have the voice of Lucas? Hmm. You know, for a while, I had, I wanted, um, Asher Bishop when he was still voicing Lincoln Loud. Um, but, um, he grew up, um, so I don't know. Um, I'm either thinking of someone younger, um, 
for real life. Yep, that's one of Bluey's quotes. Um, I wanted, um, I wanted Nasher Bishop, but he grew up, and I don't know. I was thinking of, like, Wolfgang Schaefer, but he, too, got a little old for the part. Like, he's, like, uh, like, he's, um, uh, 13 now? I don't know. Um, but, I don't know. I'm thinking of doing a... Ah, you, you little sneak. Um, I was actually thinking of, like, having Tara Strong be the voice of, um, uh, Emma. And, um, could Gray Griffin voice Lucas? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is the most funniest thing I have ever heard. Um, if possible, I might. But, um, right now, no. But for, um, I want, um, E.G. Daily as, um, as, uh, I want Tara Strong as, uh, Kathy, um, E.G. Daly as Emma, and, uh, um, Hilda's voice actor, um, no, uh, uh, Ashley Johnson as, uh, either Jenna or Emma. Debbie Derryberry. Who's Debbie Derryberry? Um. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Um. What was your favorite moment when doing the comic, and what was your favorite moment behind the scenes, like when, you, when you weren't occupied with the comic? Hmm. Well, my favorite part of the of the comic is when is when um Jenna like it's like when Lincoln gets through with Jenna and kind of cracks the um kind of cracks the uh, bubble of um Jenna a bit and like she gets he gets through her and is like uh stay we you. You're fun and everything, and and it's like that's kind of like a representation of and um, Jenna like removing her hood, and revealing her pur uh, purple hair. It's kind of like a representation of um, like uh, some like Jenna kind of like expressing herself out of it. Uh, who's the planned voice actor of Kathy at the moment? I say Ashley Johnson as Kathy. Even though I said Taylor Strong could be Kathy, but I'm thinking, you know what? I think, I think, uh, um, Taylor Strong could be good as, a uh, Jenna. Um, Ha ha ha! Ah! Ah! Um, you sh uh, Emerald, you should, you should really see, um, her in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't think she's, I don't think she has that focal range anymore. I mean, she's, she's Black Widow. I want to change something. Like I like the, I like Lucas on the small couch, but uh, it's not. It's not really. How about like a cu the cushion? The cushion. Lucas uses when playing his video games. Um, that all that reminded me of the. Thanks for the nice touch. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Anything else?
Give me some of this. I don't want it. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna be doing the entire page. Like I want to sketch some something out, but I feel like uh, Lucas is a cushionist. To be uh, a second film away from the comic. Wait, uh, Jimmy Neutron had a, had a comic series? Uh... What else? What was it like, um, for the comic? Well, um... Well... How it started... Was a little bit um was a little bit struggling. Like I d um decided um for the comic is to like I tried writing the um first issue myself, and I and I um and I and while I was doing that. I felt a little bit, um, I was struggling. Like, I thought, I wasn't going, I, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I, and I was about to give up until Alec came in, um, and I first met him on that day, and he, he, wow, he blew me out of the water. It's like, dude, you're perfect. It's like, I like everything um regarding um what you see is thanks to him. Do you like films? Do you like Spielberg? If so, what is your favorite film he directed? Um ow. Ow. Um I like um do I don't know. I like Ready Play One. I thought that was a good I thought that was a good movie regarding um video games, but, um, for action and, for action and su suspense, I like Jurassic Park, um, uh, and I like The Avengers of Tintin, that was a good movie, even though I never read the comics or seen the cartoon show, <clears throat> I mean, uh, Spielberg and Jackson, uh, worked together on it like it was a dream. I'm having trouble with this one thing. I get out of my stretch, stretch. Tintin needs to be on Paramount Plus. Yes, it does, but it's on uh, HBO Max, so. Or Max. I'm sorry. I can't get over that stupid name. It's stupid. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna have to... There we go. I'm gonna have to look. Yo, that was an under... Yeah, it is. I mean, I liked um, Jamie Bell and Andy Serkis in it. And I thought Daniel Craig played a pretty good uh, villain. Yes, James Bond played a villain. Uh, the um, cows. Couch. Ah, couch gag. Funny. Um. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba. What could be a really good image? That can work. No, on second thought. Do, do, do. Paste. Let's go back to the chat. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Big fan of why did not I don't know. I don't know, Jeremy. Someone 
It's like someone's just like. Um, if Holy Woods becomes an actual show, what would the intro be like? Um, you know, I wanted to do something called intro gags, which is a little different. Um, regarding with the, with what I wanted with the, um, the show because, um, I th I saw the fact that having a basic intro all the time is just so. It's, it's so generic. So I decided on the fact that I wanted to do something called an intro gag. Which is, um, which of course, regarding uh, what I wanted within the show, um, what episode it would be different. Like, sure, there'll be a, a um, different cut. There'll be a different sure you'll have the basic intro but if the um with you know like a song and everything and stuff like that but I wanted if the intro becomes um if I wanted a oh, I don't know like a imaginary friend sh um episode like I can do um a joke of like Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Like, like something like that. Um, trying to sketch out the couch. Something like this. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, he is. Uh, here's a question. If the Loud House movie gets a sequel, what would you like to see and what should it be about? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really satisfied with the first movie and how it ended and stuff like that. Like, I wanted more. I wanted more regarding the show and everything. Um, so I want, like, a story of, like, Moag getting revenge. Like, I feel like that's a fun, um, continuation of the first movie. And that way, uh, a lot of plot holes can be filled. Like saying, hey, this movie, if you think Moek's story is done, it ain't. But, um, if I wanted, if I wanted, um, something else... Um, I would like a, um, I mean, the road trip film is kind of, it's kind of overdone. Um, hmm. Like, I want a Roy Woods movie. Like, I'm, like, I've been thinking, yeah, the Cosmic Run is getting a movie too. Um, I'm thinking, like, with the Roy Woods adventures, I mean, the conflict should be like, Kathy's moving to college, and she's, and Lucas is worried that, you know, after all the time, he, um, spent, Lucas, he, Lucas, uh, fears that he might not, uh, see, um, um, Kathy again. So, so, I was thinking, I was thinking that Lucas and, and the, and the family go on, on the, on a nice road trip. Not, a, not like a road trip where you see the progression and all that. I mean like a vacation. Like to a nice resort and everything. It's like, like it's going to be the best week, it's the best week ever, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And in the end, Lucas realized that although he might not see Kathy as much as she, something like that, um, the memories kind of like make it count, stuff like that. I don't know. A vacation to where? Um, I don't know. 
like I want I don't want to um repeat what uh Mitchell's versus the machines did like a road trip slash robot um apocalypse conflict I mean that's a that's a good movie I don't want to I don't want to re replicate its success um Florida yeah I mean I don't know. Speaking of uh, road trips, uh, the Loud House is doing um, a road trip um, uh, anthology um, episode, like four parts. I would love to see that. No, 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 possibly somewhere, someone nice, yeah, he's getting his own show, um, what else, D -d -d -d. um, Wait, Spielberg did catch me if he can? Wow. Um. Oh, and I also like the movie Twister. I would like to change. I I would like to change. Could have a spinoff for the show. That's what Tommy Draws Forever told us. Okay then. I mean, you do you, I guess. Um, oh, I am not seeing the Peter Pan movie, nor seeing the, um, the new, uh, what's it called? Uh, the new Little Moment, uh, movie. Yeah, Twister, Twister is a really good film. I mean, I mean, I've been watching, I've been watching clips of it, like, have the late um, uh, Bill Paxton and uh, Hillen Hunt. Hill Hillen Hunt. Um, um, I mean, that's a really good movie. Yeah. Thank you, Jeremy. I want Lucas to crouch, slouch a little. I'm always sketching Lucas. Um, because I think I can do a little better. Ah, he's a he's a he's a little stump. Ah, Give him the ruler. Maybe even like squish. For the 90s, surprisingly, uh, uh, also, what's your favorite, uh, cartoons outside the Loud House? Um, I like, um, I like Bluey, which was mentioned earlier. I mean, that's a really good show, and it's made, f it's, it's a preschool show, but it's so good! I mean, if you see, like, um, shows on, like, clips on TikTok... I mean, you, you'll you see, like, people on Reddit, TikTok, saying, Hey, this show's really good. Why is no one, uh... Why is no one, uh, watching it? And I like Hilda. I mean, I think that's a really good show. And I'm ready, and I'm excited for season three. Even though that's taking a little while. Oh, um... Uh, have you watched have you watched my channel before finder since I've made some stuff no I haven't I have not hello object we meet again what I'm doing here sort of 
call me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're getting a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And that's produced by um, Blumhouse, who uh, made the, uh, the Halloween movies. The new Halloween movies. Um, currently in the process of making the song film set in the 2000s. Uh, if someone tells you the name Maria, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, two things. Um, one, uh, Maria from Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog. I mean, if you mention Maria, you, Shadow's going to have a field day with you. Mudkip Captain, was it? Now you've angered me. Welcome to the list. It's a very special list of very special people. I look forward to crossing your name off it someday. Wait the next. What? Oh my goodness. Um. Actually, um. Uh. X is. X nowadays is like. NC-17, and the movie's PG-13, which I'm a little disappointed, but I see why. There we go. That's better. That is so much better. Um... Um, and it's produced by Jason Blum and, um, Scott Cawthon. And I'm, and, and for some reason, if someone, I mean, it, with the Mario movie, um, it was produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, who made Mario, um, which, look, look, at the success, um, Sonic, I don't know if it's been, I don't know what, but... I don't know. Um, it's funny, and, and I still love the Loud House. Uh, I was, I was curious if he did, so that's why I asked. Okay. Um. Oh, and secondly, bug. Secondly, um, your sister, your little, your little sister. I mean, she's the cutest button ever. I mean, she reminds me of a, of basically, either, um, either, either Lily or, um, Bluey or Bingo. Yeah, that's, that's much better. I like that. Um, gonna extend this out a little more. Have like a, have like that dining table out there. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's slightly sketchy. Something like that. I don't know. This is still work in progress, so. In the kitchen, um. I don't know. Just have it sit down like that. I'm winging it. I'm winging it. Um, I joined the Loud House community in 2018. Wow. Yeah, the Molly movie's really good. I mean, it's coming to digital. Yes, it is. Um, what will the official, uh, Five Nights and Buddies movie post look like? Um, hold on. I'll show you. There we go. Um... So the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, we got a first look movie, movie. So we got a first look recently. 
So I like this. And same, I think it's staying faithful to the first story, uh, to the first few stories. Yeah, you see Blumhouse there, all that jazz. The Super Mario movie will be on Peacock in June, and it will be on DVD and Blu-ray July 1st. Nice. Um, one, two, the Mario movie's brand new. Three, four, the Mario movie some more. Five, six, Illumination Kicks. Ha! Ah, I joined the Lana's community in, like, 2021. I met new friends, like, Gabriel Rock, UL, Daniel, Tommy Draws, etc. Um, what gives Lucas his cute appearance? I don't know. Maybe it's just, um, it's cute. Like, I think it's just, like, sort of inspired him over, um, not only designs of the Loud House, but I kind of inspired it, um, oh, batteries almost low. Uh, okay, um, we're gonna have to do something about that. Uh, where's that charger? Uh, cradle sticks? Where's that USB? Oh, I really need to keep things organized around here. Unless I'm gonna... Oh, I, I know where it is. Um, after you guys finish the Warrior Wars Adventures, will... What will you... What is next for your parents? Um, I don't know. I think it's like... I mean, I want to work at Nickelodeon with Loudy. I mean, he's really fun. Um, it's charging, right? I mean, how could it be charging if it's like... Yeah, I'll deal with it later. Um, um, I've been in the Loudhouse community, uh, met cool guys like JPF, LA, Caleb, Caleb Duke Loud, etc. Not cool. No Gods and Luke Glory was my first Loudhouse episode. I watched it when I was my dad. I asked my dad what was the cartoon and he said he doesn't know. I'll tell you what what this show is. It's life, my friend. It's life. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think it, everything's good. So, I'm gonna... Do you remember Thumper Fan? Who's Thumper Fan? I'll make it look nice and like make it look clean ish. Uh, I'll just put it nice. Something like this. No, that's a little too sketchy. I'm trying to clean up the lines. Something like this. There we go. Last fanfic writer. Nope. Explosive videos on the left. Last month I was at an antique show. Hey guys, guys. I do not want any um, drama. Like, no one's pointing fingers. I mean, if I'm. Yeah. Did the loud? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. Are you fruit? Because, because you'd be a fine apple. A fine apple? What's a fine apple? And I think. I 
of ones I've been looking at. Um, there we go. Um, what else? I can do the couch. Um, Lucas for now. Uh. Stop reading fanfic. So they're confusing you. Ah, how did me and Xavier become friends? Um. Well, um. I don't honestly know. I just came across him. Uh, one day. On Discord, he was on the server, uh, the same server as me, and it was, and I and I asked him, "Are you are you really uh, loud studios um, loud loud studios one two one six?" And it's like, yeah. And it's like, and he was like, "Do I know you?" And it's like, yeah, I'm the cartoon finder. It's like, oh, dude, how are you? Yeah, and we and we struck from there. I didn't ask, I didn't talk I didn't start talking to him until like a month later. Did the Boy Woods Adventures get picked up by Chris Savino or did does Chris Savino approve of it? Uh no. No luck. And no, the Royal Woods Adventures will not be anything like Camp Crawl. I mean, that show sucks. That show sucks, and I will not watch it. And, I don't know. Um, speaking of Chris Avino, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to brag or anything, but, um, in a recent interview, um, in a recent interview, um, with Chris and his wife, it says that, um, he stated that Velma creator, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, um, and Walker Fell, um, hold on, hold on, that name sounds so familiar, oh, he, she made Velma, yeah, she accused, um, so the accusations made by um, Anne Walker Farrell are false. I mean, she um, she uh, accused um, Chris, knowing that she's doing it wrongly, and she's like, like, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is, um. Chris, um, is innocent. He said it by himself, and he said that, um... He said, um... That he was had. And I know... How do I know? Because he said it in an interview on YouTube. You can actually look it up. It's on YouTube right now. The Roy, Roy Woods. I'm off to Michigan. Roy Woods through now. And with Cram Roy Woods is calling. Lincoln is calling. That's a spin off right up under your nose. 
That's a spin-off right on the... Oh, come on. Yeah, he worked on the original Powerpuff Girls. And also worked on Dexter's Laboratory. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, my God, no. Wow, I've been working, I've been working on this thing for an hour. Hold on, I'm going to look at something real quick. Interesting. But I finished reading the first issue that you guys made. Thoughts? I loved it. As I said some time ago, I won't. It will only get better from uh, from now on. Yeah, it will. Um. Wow. My goodness, I didn't realize there wasn't there wasn't even the uh I didn't do the yeah. Uh, Bonnie Yoshi. <laughs> It's a refrigerator. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. You gotta be kidding me. Stop it. Oh god. No. Oh my goodness. Dogs. Guys. 
don't have uh, dogs that will bark too much because they will ruin your life. That looks good. Taking a break from article and listening. Nice. Any more questions? Because once I'm done with this uh, cleanup sketch, I'm um, ending the stream. And then, like final questions or something like that. Flint Wildwood! Yep, that's a meme. That's a meme, alright. Guys, do not. If you're gonna get dogs, don't bother. They are so noisy. Yep, it's better. I wonder how I wonder how Lucas looks in the swimsuit. I am not um that is a question for another time. That looks good. That looks good. Not going to lie.
And there we go. What is the one thing you, about the land house that you want to change? Mine is Lincoln not being treated like a loser anymore and be more successful. Um. Well, a few things regarding um, Lucas with a with Lincoln. Um, with Lincoln, one is to stop with the fantasy stuff. It is. It is not. It is so out of a. Uh, out of character for the Loud House because although there are some really good um stories within that category, it's not um it doesn't fit the Loud House. I mean I want Lincoln to stop doing magic, I want uh Lisa to stop being dumb. I mean I mean she makes a bunch of mistakes nowadays and and she says and I remember when Linda takes all, she's like, Lynn, I don't make mistakes. I mean, yeah. Tell that to your, um, tell that to your season five self. Season five and six. I, and I also want the slice of life type style to return. I mean, I want the, I want the writers who, um, did, um, the, um, who sort of did them the new episodes to kind of go away? I mean, they they don't know the Loud House. I mean, I want more, and I want a different showrunner. I want it's like, hmm. If you get what I mean, but yeah, for right now, I'm done. I'm done with this uh, drawing because it's taking a lot of time. And it's taking a lot of energy out. Also, yeah. And also, that's, um... Uh, for issue two. That's actually the question. Um, like, what is the cause that Lincoln... That, what is the cause that on Lynn being so mean to Lincoln? And my answer is just, like, she doesn't trust him. But yeah, for right now, I'm done. And I hope you guys enjoy the stream and this little Q&A. I will continue this. But for right now, I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Q&A &A and celebratory stream. And and I'm honestly surprised with you guys showing up. A lot of guys... A lot of you guys showing up. Um, um, like I'm, like if he slapped the name Roy Woods on it, um, yeah, it's, um, it really, it really drives in the, it really drives in the numbers. <laughs> um, so with that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash stream. Peace out, home slices.